Hello, everybody, and early Shabbat Shalom. This Friday night, of course, brings us to Shabbat, our day of rest, our chance to pause and be grounded. It also brings us to the ninth day of Av, the day on which the first and second temple are commemorated in their destruction. We mourn. We also mark other points in past history when our people was displaced, killed, challenged in numerous ways. When this fast day occurs on Shabbat, it is moved to the next night. So on Saturday night, we will be observing Tisha B'Av with our friends, at Beth Israel and Colleyville, as we do every year when we uh, chant from the Book of Lamentations and retell moments from our history. On Friday night here at Beth El, it is Shabbat Chazon, the Shabbat of Vision, uh, in which we will read from the Hafter of the first chapter of the Book of Isaiah, and there'll be a chance to reflect on the lessons learned, the challenges that face us personally and also nationally as a people, as we have to take stock of the challenges of our lives and move forward. Um, Tisha B'Av is a day of mourning. If you have not commemorated it before, this might be a good weekend to look at the Book of Lamentations or to reflect on some of the challenges you've gone through in the past few years and ask what you might have learned from it, how you can be stronger, uh, more attentive in communal and personal endeavors. The ninth day of Av also begins a seven-day, seven-week period of counting to... You guessed it, Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is exactly seven weeks from this weekend. And so here at Temple Beth El, we move from that period of great challenge to a time of new beginnings, but also personal introspection. On Friday mornings, almost every week, Jerry Appel and I will be over at Roy Pope Friday morning, studying text, reflecting, welcoming your feedback. We'll also reflect on some of these lessons during the Hebrew month of Elul. And finally, seven weeks till Rosh Hashanah means that our high holiday booklets have been mailed. You will be receiving in the mail sometime next week the high holy day information. Although it is not due to the end of the month, we ask you to return it as quickly as you can to help the office. You will see information about flowers, prayer books, yard site plaques, child care, everything you need to return this packet to the congregation. You're going to find that envelope in the mail. This one's addressed to me, so I'll be keeping this. Shabbat Shalom and a meaningful Shabbat.